Hello, my name's Allie, and today I will be teaching you how to make the figure eight rainbow loom bracelet. Here are the things that you will need while making the figure eight. Here are some finished products. So you'll need three different colored rubber bands, one pick, one loom, and one C-clip. Here's what they will turn out to look like. Today I will be using purple, white, and yellow. You can use whatever color you want, but... Um, these are the colors that I've chosen. So now you can pause the video to get this stuff ready. Okay, today, here's how you make the Rainbow Loom figure eight bracelet. So make sure that you have the red arrow facing away. Now, take your first band, minus purple, and go from the center peg to the side. From there to there. Now, take your next color, same color, um, go from that peg to this peg. Take the same color and keep going all the way to the end. At this very last peg here, you're going to go from this peg to the center peg, like so. Now, go back to the beginning and take your next color, mine is yellow, and you do the same thing. You go from this peg to this peg. From now, you will travel forward with the pegs. So from this peg to this peg. Now that you are at the very last peg, again, you will go from this peg to this peg and center. Now we are going to do these green bands on this bracelet that form the figure eight. Today I will be using white as the center. Go well, back to the very beginning go from this peg and stretch the band all the way across to this peg on the other side. It should have a diagonal look. Okay, take the same color, go from this peg to this peg, the same as before. It should make an X. 
Take the same color, diagonal, so right now you should have two X's, but keep going all the way to the end, like so. Please feel free to stop this video at any time if you are running into difficulties. I'm going to be using these white bands as a center. You may have a different color, but I will try to keep it easy for you, even with a different color. If this is your first time making this bracelet. Um, you might want to use the same colors as me to keep the same type going. So, it's, your whole loom should look something like this. Okay, now here you're going to flip, you're going to go to the very end, do not flip the loom around, and take a white band as I have as a center color, and flip it to make a cap band. So I'll do that once more. So you take it, stretch it out, flip it over and place it upon the two fingers. Now place it on the end. Okay, now we can start picking. So turn your loom around, like so. Now you're going to take your pick here, and you're going to flip it so that this flat part uh, on the bottom here, can push back these rubber bands, such as the cat bands and other bands. And so this hook can get the one that you want. <clears throat> so go under here, and you can use your finger a little bit. Keep the cat bands down. And grab that yellow one, as I have is yellow. So it should look something like that. Now you're going to do something like this to the end of the loom. This is done in triple single bracelet. And finished product can look like triple single. So now... You're going to go under these, grab the bottom, very bottom yellow, and pull it over here. Like so. Now you're going to go under here, grab the very bottom one, and pull it over. 
This is done in many rainbow loom bracelets. If this is your first time, I will go slow. Pull. Over. Go under here, grab the bottom one, and pull over. You should be getting the hang of it by now. Make sure you are also pushing down these bands as you go because it can get cluttered and fall off at the end. Oops. So get the very bottom one and pull over. Okay, this should be the same all the way to the end. So like that. At this last one, you're going to go under, get the bottom one, and pull it over to the center peg like so. It should look like this. And then, I go back to the beginning, go under, and get not the white band, but as I have my purple band, like that. Go under all of these, get the very bottom one. I like to pull back sometimes with my finger. If that helps you, you can definitely use that technique. You're doing the exact same thing that you did on the opposite side. So at the end, they both of the sides should look the same. If you've lost me, go under all of these, get the bottom one, and pull it to the next peg. Okay, now that you're at the end, do the same thing. Go under all of these, grab the bottom one, and pull it to the center peg. Instead of going in front. Okay. Now, you flip this loom around and you're almost done you just have to go under all of these with your pick slide it out of the channel grab a rubber band and pull it back up through the channel Oops. So you can see you need to hold down your rubber bands so that none of them slide off.
Now you take this rubber band and place it on here. Now slide these two all the way up to the thickest part of the handle. Take this and you can now take your bracelet off of your loom. Your finished product might not look the same if you don't stretch it out. Stretch it out so it looks like it has that figure eight pattern in the middle. Like so. Now you're going to add your extension because this isn't big enough to fit around your wrist. So you take your loom. Go to this part of it. Um, I'm going to be using around five rubber bands because that's my amount that I use. You will learn how many you use once you start making other loom bracelets. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to start on this peg, go to here, from this peg to here, that's five rubber bands, even though it didn't go to the end, I'm still going to take my bracelet and place this white part of my bracelet on this peg. Now you take your pick here that's still connected to this other part. And even though it's still connected, I'm going to flip this back around. Go under these. And get that bottom one and pull it over like we just did in this bracelet. Now you're going to keep doing that. until you have no more rubber bands on there. Do not keep adding rubber bands because then you'll have a really long extension. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to pull, but don't pull this last peg because you're going to take your C-clip and stretch this, place the C-clip over the two rubber bands, and then take it off. You can put your loom away. Now, even though it's still connected, I'm going to take this off the peg Take your clip and attach it to there. Both of the white rubber bands. Okay, now you are finished with your figure eight rainbow loom bracelet. This is how it should turn out. You can see the figure eight pattern. Looks pretty cool and I hope you watch more videos. Thank you. Bye.